Hello and welcome back. So we are almost finished with the template driven form in Angular. The only thing which is left to learn is how to retrieve form data from a template driven form and how to reset a template driven form. And that's what we are going to learn in this lecture. So let's get started. Here we have our registration form. Now what we want is when the user enter his details in this form and clicks on this submit button, we want to display those details in this web page. So for that, first we need to write some HTML to display the form data. And in order to save some time, I have already written that HTML. So let's grab this HTML from here and let's go ahead and let's paste it inside this app component.html file. Now if I go to the web page, so you will notice that this div is, is being displayed here where we are displaying some values. Now these values are currently hard coded. But here we want to display those values which the user will enter in those respective controls. Okay, so let's say the user enter these values in this form control and clicks on this submit button. So we want to display these values in this div. For that, let me open developer console here. And here this ng form object has been logged here. So if I expand this ng form object, in this ng form object we have this values property and this values property is again an object and this object has some properties and these properties are nothing but the form control names. Okay, so here you will see that we have this country property, this gender property and these properties are nothing but these form controls. So for this gender here we have selected female and that's the value which is assigned to this gender property here. In the same way for the country Australia is selected and that's the value which is assigned to this country property here. And we also have this person details and this person details is the form group. So if I expand this person details inside this person details we have this email first name and last name property. And if you notice to this first name property the value which we have entered inside this first name text box has been assigned. In the same way to this last name property the value which we have entered inside this last name text box that has been assigned and similarly to this email property the value which we have entered inside this email text box that has been assigned. So in short to retrieve the form data we need to read these properties. Okay we need to read the value of these properties. Let's see how to do that. So let's go to VS code. Let's go to app component class and here let's first create some properties to store the form data. Now we already have this first name and last name property created. Let's also go ahead and let's create an email property, a gender property. Now I'm going to call it gen because we already have a property called gender here. Okay. And let's also create a country property. Okay. So we want to retrieve the value for first name, last name, email, gender, and country. For that, we have created some properties inside this app component class. Now inside this on submit method, so this on submit method will be called when the user will click on this submit button. Okay, so inside this on submit method, let's go ahead and let's set the value for these properties. So here let's say this dot first name equals and now we need to get access to the ng form object and we are storing that ng form object inside this form property. So here let's say this dot form and this form is going to have a value property right and this value property is going to have a person detail property so this person detail is the form group and this person details property which is an object has a first name property in the same way this person details object also has a last name and email property. So let's set this last name and email property of this app component with those property values. Let's copy this line from here and let's paste it here and here the property name is last name. So let's assign the last name property of this app component with the value of the last name property of this person details object. In the same way we also have an email property on this person details object. So here 
let's set the email property of this app component with the email property of this person details object now we also want to get the value for the gender and country so let's say this dot gen equals and again let's access this ng form object and again this has a value property and this value property has a gender property so this value is an object and this object has a gender property and we want to assign the value of that gender property to this gen property of app component class in the same way this value property also has a country property so this value this value object also has a country property and we want to assign the value of that country property to the country property of this app component class all right now let's go ahead and let's use these properties in our view so here instead of displaying john we want to display the value stored in the first name property in the same way instead of displaying smith here we want to display the value stored in the last name property and here we want to display the value stored in the email property of app component here we want to display the value stored in country property and here we want to display the value stored in gender property of app component with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page let me close the developer console here and let's go ahead and let's enter some values in these form controls so currently if i scroll down here you can see so for these two controls we have entered some values and those values are being displayed here in the same way let me select some value for this email this country and let's select gender as male and let's click on this submit button so you will notice that those values are being displayed here in this div now you might ask why these two values were displayed as soon as we entered it in the form control that's because on these two values you know on the first name and last name input element we are doing a two-way data binding as you can see here but on rest of the controls we are not doing two-way data binding so let me do one thing let me remove the two-way data binding from here and here also let's remove this two-way data binding let's save the changes let's go to the web page and you will notice that initially this form is not displaying any value now let's go ahead and let's enter some values in these form controls so now you will not see those values being displayed okay let's select mail and now let's click on this submit button and as soon as i click on this submit button those values are being displayed here in this div so in this way you can retrieve form data and you can do something with it here we are simply displaying it in the web page but you might want to send it to the server and save it in the database so this is how you can retrieve the form data here we are basically reading the values from this value object of ng form so this value object has this country and gender property and here we are reading the country and gender property from that value object in the same way it also has this person details property and this person details is an object which has this email first name and last name property and we are reading these values here so here we are reading the first name last name and email property values from this person details object and then we are assigning it to these properties all right now if you notice when we clicked on this submit button it displayed the details here in the web page but the form controls are still displaying those values so what i want is when the user clicks on this submit button it should display the form detail here then it should also reset this form that means these form controls should become empty and the state of the form should also get reset let's see how to do that doing that is very simple all we have to do is we have to call the reset method on the ng form object so here let's say this dot form so this form is storing an instance of ng form and this ng form has a reset method okay so let's save the changes 
let's go to the web page now now you will notice that when we enter something in these form controls okay and when we click on this submit button it will display the details here and it will also reset the form so when i click on this submit button you will notice that the details have been displayed here and the form has also been reset that means the form controls has become empty and it not only sets the form controls to empty it also resets the form state let's understand that let's here let's go to this element tab and here let's expand this div here we have this form let's expand this form and let's again expand this div and here we have the input element for this first name okay now let's go ahead and let's enter something in these fields all right now here you will notice that on this first name input element currently ng dirty ng valid and ng touched css classes have been added now as soon as i click on this submit button you will notice that the css classes has been reset so again the ng untouched ng pristine and ng valid css classes has been added on this input element okay so the reset method not only sets the form controls to empty it also resets the form state all right so this was all about template driven form in angular from the next lecture we are going to learn about reactive forms in angular